Implicit derivation. Find the points on the asteroid x to the power of 2 over 3 plus y to the power of 2 over 3 equals to 1 where the tangent line has slope of 1. Now in these problems when I solve I'll be doing some shortcuts. I won't follow all the steps as I had been doing in the previous videos. I hope you understand that when we do implicit derivation then we are doing derivative of each and every term with respect to x and then we apply chain rule to find derivative of y and then we bring the terms together and then get dy by dx. So that is the process which we normally or which we always follow but I'm not going to explain you that in my solution. I'll quickly go through the problem and main part here is where the tangent line has a slope of 1. That is what we need to find. So we'll concentrate on those aspects, right? So the equation before us is x to the power of 2 over 3 plus y to the power of 2 over 3 equals to 1. So let's take derivative on both the sides with respect to x. So we get d dx of x to the power of 2 over 3 plus d dx of y to the power of 2 over 3 equals to d dx of 1. Now this derivative, you know, is 2 over 3 times x to the power of 2 over 3 minus 1. Plus, when we do derivative of y to the power of 2 over 3, we apply chain rule. We say d dy of y to the power of 2 over 3 times dy dx. So we get 2 over 3 y to the power of 2 over 3 minus 1 times dy dx equals to 0. Derivative of a constant is always 0. Correct? So from here we get, we just solve this and write down our answer 2 over 3. Now 2 over 3 minus 1 solve this fraction. So we get 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So we get x to the power of minus 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3 y to the power of minus 1 over 3 times dy over dx equals to 0. Now we can solve for dy by dx. So we get here, so we'll take this term to the right side and we get 2 over 3 and y to the power of minus 1 over 3 is 1 over cube root of y times dy dx equals to minus, I'm taking this term to the right, 2 over 3 times 1 over cube root of x. Right? Now from here we can write what dy by dx is. So we get, this is dy dx, so we get dy dx for any point on this curve, which is called asteroid, is equal to minus, so 2 over 3, 2 over 3 actually cancels out. So let me write them first. So minus 2 over 3 times 1 over cube root of x times 3 over 2 times cube root of y. Okay? So we get this is equal to minus, so they cancel out, we get cube root of y over x. So that is the derivation and so we can say that slope of the tangent on this curve at any point is cube root of y over x minus sine. So that is what it is. Now the question here is, find the points on the steroid where tangent line has slope of 1. So that means we have to find where dy by dx is equal to 1. So we can equate 1 equals to minus cube root of y over x. So from here we can say 
that you know cube root of minus 1 is equals to actually minus 1 so this is minus here right so minus of cube root of minus 1 will actually give me 1 so we can conclude from there that y over x is equal to minus 1 so so that is kind of a conclusion which we can get from here now what is that point where y and x will be minus 1 so we have y over x equals to minus 1 that means y is equals to minus x now we know that y should be minus x but we need to find what is the point right at which y is minus x so we'll substitute y equals to minus x in our equation and then find out the point right that is why this problem is kind of tricky so what do we get here so let me write this in radical form for example x square cube root so it should be written as x square cube root correct that would be easy for me to calculate plus instead of y i am writing minus x so what am i writing now y equals to minus x in my equation so i have plus instead of y i am writing minus x minus x square cube root equals to 1 so that is how my equation gets transformed you see i am substituting y equals to minus x in the equation and then trying to solve for x now that is 2 times cube root of x square since minus square will be positive right so we get this is equal to 1 and then we can divide by 2 and get cube root of x square as 1 over 2 correct now we'll cube both sides and get the value of x so when we cube both sides we get x square equals to 1 over 2 cube which is 1 over 8 and now we can find what x is so x is equals to square root of 1 over 8 which is 1 over 2 square root 2 correct so that is the value of x so the points are x is 1 over 2 square root 2 and then y will be minus of this but it could be the other way also right and therefore we can write down our answer and i'm because running out of space here i'll write down my answer as the point is x values 1 over 2 square root 2 and then y will be negative of this which is negative 2 square root 2 this is one answer the other answer could be that x is 1 over 2 square root 2 and then y will be positive do you see that so these are two possible answers which we can write now at times what we do is we don't write answers in radical in the denominator right so so x equals to 1 over 2 square root 2 we can rationalize it that is we are multiplying by square root 2 and square root 2 and then we get square root 2 over 4 right so that is a better way of writing in that case we say the point is where x is equal to we can say now x is equals to plus and minus square root 2 over 4 and then y it will be equals to minus and plus of square root 2 over 4 so that becomes another way of writing the same answer right so i hope you understand how to do these kinds of problems and also work with radicals when you're trying to find the point so this example is a pretty good example i've seen it many times in the test do it on your own and try to understand the logic i hope you like this thank you